I'm really excited today to show you a demonstration that Canary has put together with the collaboration of the folks over at CirrusLink. We're using a Chariot broker to be able to log in and currently read 601 tags. And we have two other sessions ready to turn on that are going to pull a lot more tags in. I'm excited to show you uh, that here in a second. So we've created a special asset model or a virtual view of the tags inside of this demo, and we're calling it our Cirrus Link pipeline. Now, currently in my Axiom application, we have shown that we've discovered 112 assets that we've created inside of this pipeline. And we have two trend charts showing us the number of tags we're currently logging in red and in blue, the total TVQs, or the actual number of writes per second. We also created a visualization of these assets. Currently, we just have one region and one station, but each station has 10 lines, and each of those lines is being visualized on its own individual card with units and the number of tanks on each line and a little trend graph. Uh, and then we've also shown the units in another visualization. And so right now I've got 20 units that are displayed on cards under my units, and I have 10 lines that are displayed. Um, what's going to happen is that as we start reading tags, we're going to see all of these assets increase as the tag count uh, um, gets fully discovered. So let's go ahead and turn these on, and we'll start the clock. And you'll see that immediately when we turn them on, we can see that there's about 135,000 tags at the Chariot Broker. And we're going to start logging those tags, and we'll just watch it here on the Axiom screen as it happens in real time. Now I am gonna speed this up so that it goes a little quicker for us, and we're gonna really pay attention to, across the top of the number of assets. So we've basically triggered a rebirth message of all of the devices that the, are publishing to the broker. And as those devices rebirth, we then pick up their tags and start writing them into our historian. As we write those tags into our historian, once the data set um, has all of the new tags into it, in less than two minutes time, our asset model will rescan all of those data sets and we'll be able to discover not just the tags, but group them into assets. And here it just went. So we just picked up now 8,884 newly discovered assets without having to manually refresh the model or even the application. So our Axiom uh, client tool, the dashboard, was able to not just understand that the assets were there on the back end, but also add them by region and station for all of the different line cards. Then when we look at the unit cards, we now have 1,600 units that have been discovered and are showing. Now what if, out of all of these 1,600 units, there's one that's outside of its optimal operating condition for casing pressure? Well, we added a tool that allows me to filter all 1,600 uh, unit cards based on a condition. So casing is greater than, and there we go. There it is, region three, station six, line eight, unit one. I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you'd like to learn more, uh, we'd highly recommend an email to info at canarylabs.com. Again, a special thank you to the folks at CirrusLink that make modules for MQTT Sparkplug, as well as an incredible broker called the Chariot Server.